Hello guys and welcome to the Batman Telltale series and this is the Fractured Mask episode number three. I've done the previous two episodes on my channel. If you guys want to check those out, you can. Very excited about jumping back in. Probably my second favourite Telltale series, I think, behind Walking Dead. If you guys could leave a, a big thumbs up on this episode, this may be split up into different parts, I'm not quite sure yet. Or just one big episode. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, let's jump in. Let's go. I wear the mask in order to protect this city. But when faced with a new breed of criminals calling themselves the Pact, the direct approach was met with disaster. I had to don a different mask. As Bruce Wayne, I infiltrated their ranks. The plan was to get in, set the trap, and get out. But the plan failed. Now they're one step closer to their goal. And all I have are questions. What is the pact really after? Why steal Riddler's body? Friend or foe? Nice place you got here. Did it come with the vermin? Or did you add that yourselves? It's a little run down, but the rent is right. This everyone? Riddler said you had a luchador in the mix. Bane? Oh. He came down with the case of the left behinds. Oops. <laughs> we are the entirety of our cabal at the moment. Oh, this gentleman was someone we picked up after Riddler's departure. Bruce Wayne. Bruce, was it? Charmed. Be gentle. This is Mr. Wayne's first foray into the field of felonry. Criminal virgin, huh? I won't hold it against you. Pleasure to meet you. Something tells me the pleasure is going to be all mine. You got the toy we talked about, beautiful? Get the Lady Sparklies out of the safe, John. She ain't doing this out of the goodness of her heart like the rest of us. Brucie, be a doll and give Kitty a hand. I ain't touching that popsicle. I got some thinking to do. Oh, let's get to... What are we doing? Well, we're going to... extricate the body. Riddler built a secret back door into the security system of his old employer. I need to scan his eyes and then create a retinal key for them. Then I'll use the key to make goggles, and we can open whatever doors he could. Help me lift. All right, let's help her. Catwoman... Is a very hot lady. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, found that. This wasn't the original plan. He was supposed to be alive, but things change. Get his head in a good position. All right, fine. Edit his head. Look into his eyes. That's far enough. Dig the plates under his lids. Press the button and scan away. Ew! This is gross. Ugh, that's Ooh. gross. Oh. Scan his eyeballs. What the hell did they do to him? And what's with the refrigerator coffin? Why would the agency transport him like this? This doesn't add up, Bruce. Bruce, I'm sorry about Lucius. I'm guessing it wasn't a gas leak or whatever the news said. You're right. Riddler killed him. But it was meant for me. Damn it, Bruce. I'm... This isn't all on you. On to the next. Scan his eyeballs. The second one. I didn't know what I'd be walking into with this group. But I certainly didn't expect it to involve you. And I know you're no stranger to peril, but... You shouldn't be here. So, what gives? I'm working against them. Exactly them. say I'm part of the team. Also, the sky is blue. Now you say another obvious thing. This is the game we're playing, right? 
Whatever your plan was, it must have gone horribly awry for you to end up here like this. You're not the only one with questions. One question. Make it fast. Um, where have you been? Why are you here? Why are you How here? How did you get involved with these psychopaths? Ran into Harley once or twice, but I knew Riddler. He tried to bring me in before... Well, before someone here probably killed him. <sighs> you done? His papers never looked so good. John, pay the lady. Don't spend them all in one place. You get the rest when we're inside. That wasn't the deal I made with Riddler. Take it up with him. Harley! Oh, he's back. Bane's back. You'll find I'm not disposed of so easily! You overstepped when you left him. And now it's time to pay the price. No. Oh, this one's actually got some brains. <laughs> Everyone else better be smart too. You. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. You are a means to an end. When this is over. Did it occur to any one of you people that the job we just pulled went sideways a little too quick? I think they knew we were coming, because a little rat told them. They was right to beat up his guy before we left to hit the convoy. He just beat up the wrong one. Since he couldn't deliver, I'm taking over the case. And I'm not gonna let whoever it is stop me <laughs> from getting what I want. This leak... It nearly caused the demise of Gotham's favorite luchador. So now, no one moves, no one breathes without my say-so. Cause I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. And whoever it is, is gonna find their inside suddenly al fresco. That make you nervous, Bruce? What do you have to say? Don't, Don't fret me. me. Careful, Bruce. You're valuable. But not irreplaceable. Remember that. It's not Alrighty right. then. Excuse me, peanut gallery. You got something to say? Wayne pulled his own out there. Saw it with my own two eyes. And I ain't gonna let a good effort go unnoticed. Then let's get back to work. If anyone else has any issues with the New World Order, my door is always open. Hmm. <laughs> Lead us to our prize, and all will be forgiven. Wayne! Come here a second. Uh, thanks for the assist. Thanks for... vouching back there. Hey, it's tough in the trenches. We gotta look out for one another. Otherwise... Hiya, Bruce. Guess you're clear. For now. Because apparently you're so capable. I got an errand for you. I know just about everything about Riddler's plan. But he kept one card close to his chest. The location of the job. Took the secret to his grave. Now, I got his laptop, but look at this, and keep your yap shut. Can't let any of these mooks sense weakness. It's encrypted! It's like he knew not to trust any of us. <laughs> Go figure. Okay, let me see the laptop. I'm pretty tech-savvy, maybe I can crack Bruce, it. Bruce, in case you missed it, we have a mole problem. And until we clear that up, the keys to the kingdom stay with me. Got it? Riddler had a beef with his former employers, who were cooking up some very dangerous and super fun stuff at a black site lab somewhere here in Gotham. And what is it we're after, this super fun stuff? You ask a lot of questions, you know that? I've been able to piece together most of his plan, 
except where the black site is. You're gonna find the location. And when you do, maybe you'll get a treat. A sweet, delicious little treat. Sounds enticing. I like treats. Then get on out of here and earn it. See, I ain't letting this laptop out of my sight until I clear up this mole problem. So, I want you to head over to Riddler's place and do some digging. I might need some help. That place is full of death traps. Take John with you. Just don't get him hurt. That's my job. Road trip? With Bruce? I'm in. Actually, I was thinking Catwoman. After all, she knew him. Mm, good point. Take it too. I'll grab some snacks. <laughs> What's that guy's story? Cat lady, are you? Uh, it's probably best not to ask. Be careful. Hey, be careful around him. He's smarter than he looks. That's good, cause he looks off. <laughs> Who's ready to hit the road? I mean, what is it, the white skin or the crazy green hair? On the up and up. You, Harley. But don't worry, Bruce is my best friend. He'd never betray me. Oh, sweet, innocent Puddin. Friends have the easiest access to stab you in the back. Now get out of here. I call shotgun. I want that black site location. An interesting trio. An interesting little team. The Joker, Catwoman, and Bruce Wayne. Stroke Batman. This could be interesting. Can't believe this is where he decided to set up shop. Wasn't like him to slum it. I always thought the abandoned water tower was an odd choice. I mean, the mold risk alone. It's not the abode of a man who asked me to steal a Renoir, that's for sure. Catwoman, you need to find us a way in. My specialty. Come on, John. You're with me. Yes! Our first team up! <laughs> Uh, what is this guy? Waller. Glad you answered. We need to talk. Listen about the convoy. We couldn't get to you safely. The EMP blast knocked out my ability to communicate with my field agents. I'm sorry. It obviously wasn't supposed to go down like that. Well, innocent people died because of your no-show. You think I don't know that? Those maniacs butchered my agents, my friends. I can't take losses like this. I need to lean on you even more now, Bruce. You being inside, it's our best hope. Well, now they have Riddler's body. It was cryogenically frozen by the agency. Bruce, this was a 60-year-old man who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Batman. I have some very interested researchers who wanted to see what kept him ticking. Wait, wait, uh, I got the punchline wrong. Uh, let me start. It's um, fine, John. There's a black site. Some sort of research lab, I'm guessing. Whatever's there is what they're after. And Harley doesn't know the location. She asked me to find it. Stay put for now and maintain your cover at all costs. This is our chance to get ahead of this train. So I say, Doc, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> <laughs> The perimeter is boarded up, but oh. it's nothing we can't get through. Lead the way. We're gonna smash her while you. Just have to get through these boards. Don't worry, I brought my key. That's not very quiet. Oh, we can take turns. See if you can make some candy come out. Should I get a blindfold? A little early in the night for that. 
Let me do it. God, he's so loud. And pull. And we're in. <laughs> yeah. John is a right loon. Who's there? Don't move. Wait a minute. I know you. You're Bruce Wayne. Uh, guilty is charged. Want to explain what you're doing out here? This isn't exactly the heights. Um, Gordon will vouch for You know for I'm friends with Jim Gordon. If you want to check on me, just call him up. You think I'm going to interrupt the boss and his family at dinner? I don't know. Are you? Please do. No, oh, oh, okay. Detective... Bullock. Detective Bullock, right. Uh, look, there's... Actually, a very good reason for all of this. Stay right there, jerkwad. I'm calling this in. I've been asked to report any suspicious activity around here, and you're acting suspicious. Oh, come on now, detective. We can work this out, just the two of us. I disagree. Bruce freaking way. Uh oh. Unbelievable. Wouldn't even be working tonight if I didn't need the extra dough. Maybe this will make me look good with the boss. Oh, sure, sure. O overtime, right? Well, maybe... Maybe I can help with that? I'm not that kind of cop. Oh. No, 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 no. Of course not. Of course not. This... This benefits both of us. Here, here. It's everything I got on me. Just hang up the phone, and it's yours. <laughs> Try not to die in there. I do not want this coming back on me. Dumb. Come on, let's get moving. The more subtle approach. Could have hit him. Could have just left John to hit him, but nope. Bit of money. And he's gone. He's in one piece. No headaches. He's not dead. I think that went quite well. That was a good call. Still muster a little warmth. Huh, sounds like you knew a very different Riddler than the one I met. I wish he'd never come back to Gotham. Me too. There's hope for everyone. I don't think any of us are beyond reach. <laughs> I know we've just met, but somehow I knew you'd say that. You knew him best. Where do you think he'd keep any info on what we're after? Well, not to state the obvious, but it's probably behind a riddle or a puzzle somewhere. Oh, I call the downstairs bedroom. <laughs> Careful, John. This place is probably a death trap. Follow him, Bruce. I don't want John's curiosity to get us killed. Agree. That woman is so hot. I to touch something. <laughs> John. Be careful. Where do we even start? I've been here before, haven't I? Can we examine? The How many monitors. TVs does one guy need? Probably afraid he'd miss something. Where can we find some clues? The workbench. This is where he built his boxes. <sighs> A very clever man indeed. Ooh. Move to one side. What is that? Can I press it? Apparently I can examine it and that's it. Why can't you press it, Batman? Or Bruce. Walk on it. <laughs> okay, interesting. The death chamber.
You gotta admire the ingenuity. It's a wonderful toy. It's a wonderful way to lose your hand. Well, you know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. There's something under here. Some kind of platform. Ah, we can move the death chamber. Ah. Let me help you out there, Bruce. I don't want you to bend your cover bow. Alright, up and X. Oh, look at that. Oh, she's very heavy. <laughs> Welcome to the Maelstrom. Deeper and deeper you go. This is the vortex of life, pulling you down into its depths. You work, you sleep, you die. At all times, one foot in the grave until the second inevitably follows. You have to work hard and sleep hard in order to earn your way six feet under. What did I tell you? I suppose those are our clues to whatever Riddler is hiding in here. Damn it. How am I supposed to do this? I'm supposed to stand on this button, I guess. Hmm. Not sure what's gonna happen. Press the button. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're not ready to die just yet. Oh, wait. Yes, you are. <laughs> wow. I guess that was a little bit too obvious. <laughs> she said, press the button. Ah. Perhaps there's some stuff up here. Perhaps see another. Oh, pick up a pair of shoes. All right. I picked up the shoes. Is there a panel? Oh, I would guess. <laughs> There's another panel. There is. So if I put, or if I, can I? I can place the shoe. Will that work? I take you by night. By day, take you back. None suffer to have me. But do from my lack. <laughs> that sounds positive. Are you sure, Catwoman? Are you sure? Can we chat to her? Hey, Catwoman. Hey. Hey, Money Man. Money Man? That's not funny. Um, how do you meet the Riddler? How do you and Riddler first meet? You know, I do a lot of. Freelance work. Let me guess, Riddler wanted a painting from the Louvre? <laughs> Without bragging too much, it was an easy job. Huh. After all, I'd already robbed the place twice. He became a valuable contact when money was tight. So why are you really here? So Boy, why are you really here? Lots of money. I said I'd tell you when we're alone. We're not. I'll tell you later. Sounds to do with the Riddler, I'm guessing. I'm just curious if you... Yes? If you missed me. John is right downstairs. Yes or no? Answer the question. <sighs> Say yes. Fine. Of course I did. Aww. But don't read any more into it than that. These two are gonna get it on. It's gonna happen. So I reckon the other shoe on the other panel, that should be it, I think. Not quite sure. Let's see what happens. So place the shoe. Hopefully it goes green. Please. Yes! This is my city. This is my plan. Nobody will interfere. Right, so can I now press the button? Oh no. Please work. Oh goody. It works! It looks like you've got both feet in the grave. Yes! It worked. Fairly simple. You hear that? 
It's like you're standing on an elevator. I bet whatever we're looking for is down there. Maybe someone should stay up here. Keep watch. Good point. Let's go, Bruce. Sorry, cat lady. Or maybe you could stay? Oh, no. Harley gave me an assignment, and I mean to fulfill it. Give us a moment, Wink. Uh, John, could you give us a moment? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> He's something charming and unnerving at the same time. So now that we have a moment. Care to fill me in? Care to tell me the real reason you're doing this? Out with it, Bruce. It seems fun. What's going on? Uh, I'm undercover. I'm undercover. For yourself? <laughs> Isn't Bruce Wayne kind of always undercover? Or is it the other way around? No, yes, I'm undercover working with a group called the Agency. Partnered up with people, huh? Good to hear you've grown a bit. Sorry if I was a little rattled at the clubhouse back there. Wasn't quite ready to see her face again, but... You look good. Even with what looks like a piercing gone wrong. <laughs> Not great or anything, but good. You look great too. I didn't say great, I said good. Great. Okay, duly noted. Now it's my turn. Why are you here? You're not really in bed with this... pact. And what if I am? Maybe I need the money. Maybe I don't. Who knows? The world's a complicated place. You're better than that. You keep saying that. You're like a broken record. Yoo-hoo! Can you two get a move on? Playing guard is getting pretty... Poor. Just another minute. We've got it under control, John. Fine. We've got a job to do, remember? Let's just see what this is all about. Is that a button? Alright, turn it on. Press the button. Do it. <sighs> Encrypted. Just like the laptop. There must be something nearby we can use. A USB, surely. Didn't Riddler carry one of these in Europe? He did, but they were purely aesthetic. Perhaps they're useful though. Perhaps we can put it in, split it in half, or perhaps like a USB on it or something. I don't know. We're overthinking this a little bit. You yeah, think it might be a trap? Maybe. But we already made it past the line of security, so... Maybe not. Your certainty is assuring. <laughs> Will we die? Oh, that's a USB just on top. Ah, let's USB see if this drive. works. Is it 3.0? Is it 2.0? Who knows? Let's pull it in. Insert the USB. You are right, Bruce? Great. Just, just great. <laughs> there you go. Here we go. Please work. Decryptor detected. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Project Lotus. Sanctus. Retinal scan required. Uh, shit. I haven't made the goggles yet. Retinal scan. Time out. The fastest protocol enacted. The decryptor! Get it! Woo! You know what Sanctus is, don't you? I heard stories on jobs. Best I can piece together, their group, up to... No good is generous. They're scary. Great. One thing's for sure. We're not getting any more info off that thing. Well, there's always Riddler's laptop. Harley still has it. The decryptor probably works with that as well. Everything okay down there? Send the lift back up. I should have come back sooner and reeled Riddler in, but I didn't. 
Knowing he was tangled up with Sanctus, and what he did to Lucius, this is my fault. My mess to clean up. By yourself? I can help. Why? Do I look like I need your help? You don't have the code to do what needs to be done here, Bruce. You want to do this your way? You'll have to beat me to it. Oh, I'm ready for that. Really, Catwoman? What are you doing? Balancing the scales. You are not leaving here with that. Oh, honey. I'm already gone. Eat this chair. Ugh. She is quick. Come back, we can do this. Resourceful as always. Oh, find the balls. That's a cheap shot. Ouch. She's too quick. Bye, Bruce. It's been fun. Bruce, this is embarrassing. Getting rusty. You haven't gotten past me yet. Never hit a lady. Until she's done. Slow down a bit. You're coming up blurry. So many skills. She's just too quick. I want that USB. I forgot how skilled you are with your hands. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I fell for it! Oh! Awfully bold move considering we just met Mr. Wayne. This is flirting. Move, John! John, come on. I fell for her charms! Such a sucker! Uh, swap her legs, strike from above. Hey oh. oh, still going. Damn it. Oh, Bruce! Catwoman, why? Sorry, Bruce, but I'm taking Harley's laptop for myself. And I'm finishing this my way. <clears throat> Harley's laptop, huh? You and I, we're going to talk. Somewhere else. That did not go well. I, I don't think we could have changed it. I think it's a pretty much going to be the same outcome, but... Whoops. So, John, about the laptop. Um... You know, I'm the first guy who resort to stealing from anyone, anyone but her. But in a way, that almost makes it more enticing. But in another way, maybe I tell her, getting her good graces. Maybe I will. And maybe I'll do just that. Then she'd remember my name has an H in it. She always spells it J-O-N. Because we're friends, John. This is between us. Oh, we are friends. We are. But Harley's... Harley? I don't know, Bruce. I'm torn here. Just thinking about her makes me feel like I'm floating. Oh. She's the most intriguing creature ever to grace me with a demeaning insult. Which is great, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I, I want more, Bruce. Like you and Catwoman. I'm only a little ashamed to say that dance had my pulse pounding. 
What's your relationship with her? Your real one? Um, not really sure right now. I like her. I, I guess think. you could say she's my Harley. I'm not sure she's good for me, but I just can't seem to get away from her. You stop right there, Bruce Wayne. Oh, I'm tearing up. He's crying. Look at this couple of weeping willies over here, <laughs> drowning our sorrows in caffeine and sugar. <sighs> Only Harley saw me. Like, really saw me. The world's a crazy place, isn't it? I want Harley, and you want the laptop. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. I help you with Harley. <laughs> I see. You're up to bat, then, Wayne. What did you do to make Catwoman purr? How? Can I get that with Harley? Um, pull her strings. How can I make her see me. People aren't as complex as you make them out to be. Harley's smart, but she's still human. She can be manipulated just like anyone else. Anyone, huh? How does one go about performing this magic trick? Find a problem they have, and then make sure they think you are the only one who can solve it. Once they have to rely on you, they're yours. <laughs> We're social animals, John. Might as well exploit it. But how do you know what makes them tick? Too bad you can't just open them up and take a look. You'd be surprised what people will say when you just let them talk. All you need to do is give them space, and the secrets will spill. Uh-huh. Act interested. Let them keep digging. Fascinating. Acknowledge that you hear them. But don't get in their way. That makes total sense. Nice try. I've learned that manipulation can take on many forms. Some of them more subtle than others. Tell me more. Tell me everything. Get inside their head. Once you know how they think, you know what they want. And you use that. You know, one of the doctors in Arkham tried to get in here. Wait, wait, I have an idea. Let's try it out. Now, first thing that comes to your head, what do you see? I don't think. Um, Let your gut guide you. But I don't know. Bats. Ooh, like creatures of the night, do you? You're an interesting case study, Mr. Wayne. I think you might be a danger to yourself and others. <laughs> Is what Dr. Leland would always say to me. <laughs> right. Now, this one. What do you see? Um... Alleyway. You know, it looks like a like a maze. The alleyways of Gotham. Ah, a complicated path. The way out isn't clear, huh? You ever do the mazes in the back of those activity magazines and doctors' waiting rooms? I have. A ton of them. Been waiting my whole life just to be seen. What an illuminating evening this has been, Bruce. I feel like we're on the verge of a breakthrough. Let's try just one more. John, sorry, something just came up. Uh, it's business. I have to run. So soon? It's, it's fine. A for effort, Bruce. I guess I won't go tattling to Harley. So, will you help me get the laptop? Gosh, Bruce. We are friends, and you're right about that. And uh, we did have a good back and forth with the tests. I feel so much closer. It's nice. Oh, you drive a hard bargain, mister. Wait. Jeez. Okay, let me mull over the logistics. But I'm in. Meet me back at the subway when you're done with your business. And because we're pals, coffee's on my dime. Bruce? 
Thank you, John. Oh, he's been left alone. Have some milkshake. It looks really nice. Oh, he's just seen the bat signal. Yeah. Jim. Good evening. Oh, it's good you're here. The last time I fired this up, you didn't show. Had me concerned. What do you mean? The agency convoy? All those freaks were in one place and you decide not to show? No, I didn't like you. You don't take time off. I was there, Jim. You just didn't see me. Of course, I know you can be trusted. I just wish they hadn't gotten away. I guess I can't really talk. We got there late. But then it was just Bane. He still beat us to a pulp and got away. Is that all? Uh, no. No, I... Uh, I got a favor to ask. Lucius Fox. I know he was your friend, and I don't mean to speak ill of the dead. But I think he might have been up to some shady stuff before Riddler's attack on Wayne Tower. He might not have been the man you thought. Not entirely. Mm. I don't know anything about that. Maury was an arms dealer. And Riddler targeted him the same way he did Fox. My gut is telling me that's no coincidence. Waller shut down any investigation into the circumstances surrounding his death. And that means something stinks in Denmark. He could follow that stench all the way to Fox's employer. Ah, look. Just how much do you really know about Bruce Wayne? I know a lot. Um, he's another friend. I see where you're going with this, but you're on the wrong trail. Bruce Wayne is helping you. Uh, well, if he's helping us, he has a real funny way of doing it. You know, at first, I thought Fox was at the center of it all. But there's a hell of a lot more. A Wayne Enterprises security guard comes to GCPD saying he was assaulted by Harley Quinn and her gang. And who was leading her around like a pet? Bruce Wayne. Then I checked the video recordings. Someone did an amateur job covering up the security footage. Files were replaced, time unaccounted for, sloppy. And strike three? He flashes enough cash at one of my officers to get into Riddler's old workshop. Why? Wayne even dropped my name with Bullock, like I'd back him up. <laughs> Their bags got stones, I'll give them that. Bruce Wayne is dirty and he's dangerous. Waller knows all of this happened too, and she refuses to let me move on it. So I need you to bring him in. That's the favor. I can't do it, but you can. I can keep an eye on Bruce Wayne. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm not asking for an eye. I want him delivered here with a little bow. Gotham safety is slipping out from under me, and I can't stand it! I know your friend Catwoman's in town. Got a rap sheet that'll put her away for life. Maybe I can't move on Bruce Wayne, but I can move on her. I should have done this a year ago. I can't ask you to break the law, Jim. As soon as I get back to the office, I'm sending out a task force after her. And you, you better not tell her we're coming. Oh. He sounds like he's on a war path. He's not happy. If I warn Selena and she gets away, Gordon and the police will blame me. But if I don't, I put her in danger. Don't forget that you're both after that laptop. Gordon might be your best chance to slow her down. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. Uh, it's my fault. Gordon is like this. I want to tell him everything, but I can't. Secrets poison relationships, Bruce. But to protect this city, 
to protect yourself, he can't know. You know, Miss Kyle is going to run sooner or later. It's her nature. How much can you really trust her as an ally? I know how you feel about her. Make certain you aren't letting that cloud your judgment. She already betrayed me back at the workshop. Yes, Catwoman's motives will always be suspect. You know what must be done. Um, do we send the message or do we cancel the message? I don't know what to do. I think personally we should cancel it. I don't think she's gonna get caught, but it should slow her down. So we can get the laptop. I'm gonna cancel the message. Yeah, cancel it. I didn't do it. Splendid. Don't go, Gordon. I've got a city to say. <laughs> uh oh. Please, Jim. You oh have to no. Let me in. It's the Joker. It's John. Too much. I'm the best friend you have in spandex or whatever my suit is. You can. Tr what if I grew a mustache for you, Batman? Hi. Hello. So, uh, John. My name's John. John Doe. You don't know me. Well, we actually did cross paths once, but. Uh, what did you overhear? I didn't hear anything. I just got here, I swear. Oh, this is just... What a pleasure. So nice to finally meet you. It's just a Take his hand, why not? Won't hurt anyone. Nice to meet you, John. Wow, quite a grip you've got there. You must squeeze a stress ball a lot. I've been waiting over a year for that moment. I'm just such a huge fan of yours. Here you are, in the flesh. <laughs> Looking for mentors, role models. I've come across a few good candidates. You're, you're Batman. <laughs> I don't take on students. Now hold on, before you accept, here's what I bring to the table. I can get you Riddler's laptop. All his secrets. Right there! And the gang who attacked the convoy, they needed to pull off a big score. The point. So what if I steal it from Harley Quinn, no less, and give it to you? But, uh, and, and, this, is, and this is a big but. I need you to promise nothing bad will happen to Harley. I mean, letting one criminal slip through the cracks every once in a while can't be the worst thing. Nothing will happen to her. You have my word. All right, good. I'm trusting you on this one. Now, now when you're on the job, what's the preferred method of extracting a target? Always repelling in, or explosives as a distraction, or... You know what? I'll wing it. If I were you, I'd get a friend to help. That's a great idea! I hope Bruce is there. He'd do anything for me. Oh, one last thing! <laughs> I collect these. They mean a lot to me. Fine. You look so cool. I mean, you're cool. Uh, I'm not. I'm not usually cool, but next Just to you, this I look laptop. cool. This is gonna look great on my wall. Thank you. Laptop behind the stack deck. I'll be there. Promise. Hope to die. Poke a needle in my eye. You won't be disappointed. We just need this laptop. This could be a massive trap, but we need it. And I'm doing anything to get it. You speak, but all I hear are lies. You dishonor yourself, Timothy. 
If you are the rat, then wear it proud. I would have respect for that, and with respect comes mercy. Greetings, Wayne. Come with me. As a fellow apostle of technology, I thought you might appreciate this. Bane and I were acquiring components for a device I'll need once we get to the Black Site. Device? Yes, an ice explosive for the fire failsafe we anticipate encountering. That isn't the impressive detail. As we ran into interference, I determined I would be more efficient if I made smaller versions and employed them as projectiles. Who were they? Hindrances. As you can see, it's been wildly successful. Perhaps Wayne Enterprises could benefit from my efforts. Impressive science, Freeze. You'll notice I don't do anything ineffectually, Mr. Wayne. Hear that, Freeze? Wayne is cut out for this life after all, huh? <laughs> yes, I thought as much after he took a pipe to one of my boys. <laughs> one more time, my friend. Why did an alarm go off when it was your job to ensure it didn't? Bane, come on. I, I slipped up. Dangerous time to make a mistake when you knew I was looking for a mole. You're trying to slow us down! No, look, I want to get paid just like you. I got mouths to feed. Then, when the police arrived, you were nowhere to be found. I... You know I'm no traitor. I stood up for you, remember? Come on, man. We have to stand together on this. Just think. Remember? Yeah, sure. Pretty bold move. Good, yeah, yeah. Now, now why, why would I do that if I was dirty? I'd have thrown you to the walls to cover my ass, right? Oh, 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 a deft turn. But it's not enough to save you. In fact, your awareness of how to deceive only creates more suspicion. What the hell is going no, on no, here? No, 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 no. Oh. Merely plugging the leak. God damn it, Bane. You running your own investigation? You gonna get little business cards printed that say Detective Bane now? Why are you complaining? I didn't get a chance to grill the guy. I'm a trained psychiatrist. What are you? A side of beef with a hunch? I'll find the rat, and I'll deal with it. You can't be trusted to run your men anymore. They're mine now. Got Yours? It? <laughs> I freed them from Santa Prisca. You just killed one. I only shot him. Who do you think wins that recruitment war? They won't follow you. What do you want, John? Right. The laptop. This seems like the perfect time. You don't know for sure it was him, so now what? They know the cost. I value loyalty above all else. You know who's gonna have a tough time being loyal now? That guy. Just keep her busy. I have to sneak into her office to get it. Then uh, it's all yours. Yep. Getting it for my old buddy Bruce. And only you. Promise. Sound like a plan. Up top. Yes, that was a good one. Hey, you two. What's going on with you guys? Harley! What a surprise! You guys get me a black site location or not? The answer had better be. Um, yes. Project Lotus. We didn't find the location to the black site yet, but we did uncover the code name for whatever you're after. Project Lotus. Ring any bells? And what is Project Lotus? What do you want? Shouldn't you be informing your men they work for me now? You? You can't even keep these two from colluding. Putin? Are you kidding me? He's loyal to a fault. I'm loyal, Harley. <laughs> yeah, definitely. 
Which is good for you, because you need help. The mole, Bane's men, you maybe, possibly, potentially can't handle it alone. <laughs> I'm really the only man for the job. Me and only me. You time out! And you, we need to talk. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. This here is one of my favorite toys. Helps me make boring things into pretty things. Can you be a smart guy and guess another one of my favorite toys? Probably that hammer. Come on. You can do it. You mean your hammer? <laughs> Good guess. But no. John. It's John. Oh. You two are getting a little too close for comfort. So I'm making a new rule. Hands off. Point is, John's mine, and mine alone. He's got the laptop. So don't play with my toys. It worked. Or I'll bash in that pretty face of yours. Alfred, get a suit ready for drop off. Of course. Was your accomplice successful? Looks like. I'm on my way to meet him now. We have the laptop. Well, pretty much. Oh, it's nice and early. 7.15 in the morning. Alfred, keep the drones on alert. They're online and overhead, sir. Don't let your guard down. <sighs> He's here. telling me not to do it and then the bat on the other whispering just get it John <laughs> <laughs> or did you have the halo and Harley the horns you must run across this in your line of work how do you deal with doing something good when you might be hurting someone you love because it certainly didn't feel good quite the opposite in fact I serve the greater good John I can't let my feelings get in the way of that. If someone I care about is on the wrong side, that makes them my enemy. A black and white world. <laughs> so much easier to parse. I did bring the thing, by the way. Don't you worry. Perseus, I bring you the Gorgon's head. Is Batman happy? You, you look pretty happy. <laughs> no emotion. I'm happy. I did something for you. Maybe you uh, could do something for me. Like? Teach me. Anything. What about those uh, boomerangs you have? I promised only use it for, you know, hero things. Fine. Fine. <laughs> so awesome! Battering. Long range weapon. Effective. Dangerous. Hey ya! <laughs> Nailed it! Dead on! Your turn. On my hand. Oh gosh. <laughs> my hands are sweaty. <laughs> Use your free hand to help you aim. It'll follow your elbow. Don't overthink it. Just throw. Yeah. Oh, dang! It's okay. Practice makes perfect. 
Can I? Uh, can, can I keep it? Uh, no, that's a little bit too far. <laughs> no. Working with you, Batman, it's just been wow. What I meant to say is, uh, it's, it's been an honor. If you ever need someone to watch your back, you know I'm good with a batarang. And I have a lot of guns, too, if that helps. This is exciting. A new leaf. You have potential, John. Do something good with it. Well, with you to look up to, how could I go wrong? Do you have a cape guy? Because I was thinking about updating my look. I'm your man on the street. Literally. Selena. I had nowhere else to go. I guess I was a fool for thinking I'd be safe here. I'm glad you're here. Are you? <laughs> Maybe we should just start from the beginning. What happened? I'm glad you're here, Bruce. Miss Kyle is injured. I've dressed the wound as best I can. I trust you told him about your motorcycle accident? I was just about to. <laughs> Hope you don't mind me tending to her wounds. I couldn't turn her away. Not in her condition. Not at all. Thanks for taking care of her. You've been so good to me, Al. I don't know how I would ever repay you. But of course. I hate to ask, but would you mind giving Bruce and I a second to talk? How can I refuse? I'm worried about him, Bruce. I'm pretty sure he's on the verge of a nervous breakdown. And you don't want to be the one who pushes him over the edge. Alfred will be fine. He's been on my side through a lot more than this. Then I'm surprised you don't see it. He's slipping. Whoa, what are you doing? Relax. I'm just changing out the bandage. Be a doll and hand me a clean piece of gauze. Been through two... There. Good as new. So, do you want to tell me what really happened? We both know you didn't get this from a motorcycle accident. I was ambushed by your friend Gordon tonight. Thought you knew. You and Gordon are so tight. He must have mentioned he was coming after me. No. I had no idea. No, of course you didn't. The laptop. I know you snatched it from Harley. I want to find that black site. Before they do. The laptop is useless without Riddler's decryptor. Good thing I brought it then. You have the goggles too? Not so fast. What are you offering me in return? You know when it comes to me, nothing is for free. Um... Me. I'll give you what you really want. Me? I've already had you. But I appreciate the offer. What do you want from me, Selena? I want you to admit that you need my help. I want you to say, Selena, I need you. I can't do this without you. Um, Say it, and it's yours. Selena, I need you. And? I can't do this without you. No. You can't.
Alright. Oh. Thanks. It's been a rough night. It looks it. <laughs> so, what now? Are we gonna crack Riddler's laptop together or not? I'm out on a line here. Don't leave me hanging. Uh, come downstairs with me. What's downstairs? You'll see. This is very, very risky. Very risky. Oh god, okay. What time do we change it to? There we go. Done. It's a secret. Bad guy coming. Mm, she looks a little bit too happy. This, this, this might have been the wrong call. Welcome to the back game. I thought I'd seen it all when I found you hanging with the sewer rats, Bruce. This place. It's really you. Rich men and their toys. Only thing missing is a wet bar. Make yourself comfortable. I'll try. This place, it's not exactly cozy. I know how hard it is to let people in. The fact that you've done that, it means a lot to me, Bruce. I didn't give a damn about anyone else until I met you. You're a bad influence on me. I didn't care about anyone either. You, the guy who saves people for kicks? It's not the same thing. No, no it's not. Well, aren't we a pair? Unfeeling monsters hiding in the basement. <laughs> it, being here with you. I came back to Gotham for a little redemption, but I didn't expect to find it next to you. It's nice. The way I feel around you. Like... Like I can be better. Do you maybe... feel the same? I'm going to kiss you now. It just happened. I really hope she's not going to betray us again. <laughs> That's what I wanted. I've missed this. Hold that thought. Is that what I think it is? What is my stuff doing on display in your cave? Uh -oh. Alongside mementos of the psychopaths you've locked up? Not that you're normal by any stretch of the imagination, but... Uh, and there I am. Right next to Harvey Dent. This has got to be good. They remind me of you. Is that such a bad thing? Did you want them back? Hold on to them. They look kind of nice there. Oh, pushing to run away again. T for two is served. Alfred, thank you. Put the USB in. Decrypter detected. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Retinal scan required. Let's try this again. Access.
Success granted. Yes, it works. Bruce, whenever you have a moment, I have something to show you. The back computer will scan for viruses and other safeguards before we can have access to the data. Is it time to explore the back cave again? I'm guessing Alfred's going to be a little bit angry that Selena is in the back cave. That's probably the issue right now. Whoops. There's my bat suit. Alfred, you alright? I finished up a new feature for your contacts. Lucius nearly completed it before. Well, I've been fiddling with it to keep myself occupied. Uh, at any rate, your contacts now have the capability to detect heat signatures. Cold, too, because uh, with Mr. Freeze, you never know. Thanks. I'm sure it'll come in handy. I'm impressed you felt close enough to someone to welcome them into the Batcave. And I'm curious to know why. What is it about her? Not that I'm judging, mind you. Difficult to take it back at this point. But, um, well, maybe you should keep an eye on the more valuable items down here. I wouldn't have been able to get into the laptop without her. And this seems like her area of expertise. And I believe she needed your help just as much. <sighs> it's done. Sounds like the laptop is safe. I understand where Alfred's coming from, 100%. This is a very risky decision. I hope it works out. Um, but yeah, it's a, it a big call. Selena, do you fancy a chat? That's a chat. Selena. Leave. Uh, so you like the Batcave? Um, where do we go from here? So, what do you think is next? For us. Romantically or with Riddler's laptop? Both. <laughs> I don't have a lot of expectations, but I do have some hope. Fair enough. Do you like my back cave? So, what do you think? There's a lot of interesting tech down here. How you did it all, I'll never know. And it's more hospitable than the abandoned subway those maniacs call home. But just barely. I think she likes it. <laughs> I think she's fairly impressed. So I hope she doesn't steal anything or tell the whole world where we are. Right, to the computer. The scan is now done. We'll discuss our next move. I feel like I've seen a lack of Batman actually in this episode. A lot of Bruce. I want to find some criminals. I shall be upstairs if you need me. Good luck. Thank Look you, at Alfred. all this data. Finally, something we can read. Let's see what he knew. What did he know? Documents. Invoices, schematics, design notes. I'm closing in on them. I know who their supplier is. And that means I know where they've moved that twisted operation. They're in Gotham. Hiding in plain sight. Well, not for long. Uh, Riddler must have been talking about the location of the black side. His obsession with data left us an incredibly thorough paper trail. Good. Look at these manifests. Bodhi Spa. Strange place for a delivery of virus incubators. This must be what Riddler means by hiding in plain sight. What's this, uh, video? Patient 843. 10 milligram injection at 0.01% solution. Patient 844. 10 milligram injection at 0.015% solution. God, what is that? Human test subjects? We have to find what they were giving those test subjects. What happened to them? 
Oh no. Some kind of viral agent from the looks of things. A biological weapon. This is what Harley wants. Agency. The agency. Don't you work with them? Amanda Waller. She runs the agency. Sounds like you owe her a phone call. Should we call her? Surely this... No, that doesn't make any sense. Bruce. To what do I owe the pleasure of this call? The agency was working on a virus with human test subjects. Bruce? What on earth? I just saw it with my own eyes. How do you... Is that what Quinn's after? Yes. I found the black site. Hiding in the middle of Gotham at the Bodhi Spa. Okay. Okay. I promise we'll get to the bottom of this. But I need you to trust me. Meet me at Wayne Tower in 15. I'll tell you what I know. Can we really Harley trust her? asking if the goggles are ready. I'll go back to the subway, see if I can keep her busy. Thanks, Selena. Benefits of partners. Be safe, Bats. You too. Can we trust her still? I don't know. Can we trust anyone right now? That's, that's the issue. Tiffany, what are you doing here? Running late today? I expected you earlier. I needed to talk to you, but I'm sorry, Bruce. This is for your own protection. Hands behind your back! On the floor, now! On the floor! Now, now! Bruce Wayne, you're under arrest for armed robbery, murder, and criminal conspiracy to commit a terrorist act. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Take your hands off me before I... <sighs> Shut your mouth and stay down! Don't hurt him! Uh, thanks for the call, Miss Fox. You've done a good thing today. You lied to me! You need to stand back, or we're gonna have a problem. Bruce, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect them to be so... violent. I just wanted them to get you away from those nut jobs. It'll be all right, Tiffany. I believe you. What in the... Director Waller?! Uncuff Mr. Wayne right now, or you'll spend the rest of your life as a meter maid. Mr. Wayne is under agency protection, and you know it! What? You've known it for some time. Waller and the agency? They're not always gonna be around to save you, Wayne. One day, you're gonna run out of favors to call in. And when you do, there'll be hell to pay. I'm not a criminal, Gordon. Save Officers, it. please. He's involved. He belongs in a cell. This is neither your concern or your purview. Go home, Gordon. You're done here. The hell I will. If I were you, I'd be very careful with my next words. And if I were you, I'd stop interfering with GCPD business. This is my city. Not anymore. You're so far out of line, you can't see the truth. You're dismissed. Excuse me? You tested me. This is what happens. Damn it, Waller! You can't do this! It's well within my power and you know it. Waller, Gordon is a good cop. He's a good man. Don't do this. Not from you. It's the last straw. I won't allow anyone to question my authority. This is strictly professional. Oh, sure. Time to go, Jim. She just sacked Jim. Jim! We'll make sure Gordon leaves and be right outside. 
when you're ready. And she's got a hearing back. Well, oh. sort of. Some sort of like hearing aid. I apologize for everything. Calling the cops was a bit much. Well, you wanted a chance to talk to me, so here it is. Talk. I just don't understand how you got tied up in all this. The agency? If I had known you were... What are you doing with them? Please, just tell me, Bruce. Look, Tiffany, I'm an undercover operative. What I'm doing, it's dangerous. Thank you for telling me. I see now, though. This is why he's dead. He was involved in whatever you're doing. This work you're doing seems incredibly dangerous, but there's something I don't get. Why you? I mean, no offense, but you're just... Bruce. I'm Batman. You're Batman. The Batman. Come on. Got something to show you. Hey, Bruce. Wanted to show you a preview of your new bat suit. I know you and Alfred are still on your well-deserved retreat, but I couldn't help myself. Dad. I'll upload the specs to your private server. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I'll see you soon. It was hard to believe. But hearing it from him... Your dad was a hero. Your dad believed the city deserved better. He believed in me. And to think I gave him lip for missing dinner sometimes. With Dad gone... Maybe I can still help. If Batman is interested. It's the least I can do. And I know my dad would be proud. The way things are going right now... He could use a little help. Okay, I need to digest. Sorry for everything earlier, but thank you for trusting me with this. I'm only saying we might be pushing him too hard. He's capable and he knows how to cover his tracks. Our only path forward is through Wayne. <clears throat> oh, let's get to it then. I know you have some questions. A few. Care to explain why the videos I saw said this virus was an agency experiment? Years ago, I was brought in to rectify the agency's past mistakes. Or, failing that, to cover them up. One mess in particular dealt with black ops experiments. Human subjects. The kind of amoral science that makes your skin crawl. Sanctus. They were a division that was shut down for good, long before either of us joined. But evidently, they went underground. This is our worst-case scenario. With Sanctus off the leash, this research poses a global threat. If I'd known where they set up their den, I would have taken them out years ago. If you want them taken out, now's your chance. We know right where they are. It's not that simple. Sanctus was dangerous then. They're certainly worse now. This whole situation. It's given me an idea. I can't put an agent within a thousand yards of that place without them starting a war or blowing up the entire block just to cover their tracks. We know it's tricky, but leading Harley and her gang into Sanctus might allow the two problems to take care of themselves. They have Riddler's info. They have a way in. And you're undercover with them. At least with Sanctus and the Pact at each other's throats, the Agency can act quickly, clean up, and minimize casualties. It's unorthodox. But a strike like this will keep damage from spilling onto Gotham streets. Makes sense. Why endanger anyone else when I have my own personal wrecking crew? My thoughts, exactly. Look, for now, just go and check this place out. Right now, as yourself. 
We don't want them to know Batman is on their tail. I bet you're the type of guy who has some expensive surveillance equipment. We have your back, Bruce. We'll be right behind you. Keep me in the loop so I know what my team and I might be facing when it goes down. Defenses, security, whatever. Their lives are in your hands, Bruce. As well as the fate of this city. I know you might have reservations about working with Harley and her crew like this. But sometimes you have to use bad people to do good things. It's like the Suicide Squad. Is this a wise plan? I don't know, but we're going to do it anyway. The Pact is going in. Al? Have you located the Black Site? I think so. While you were at the office, I did some basic online research on the Bodhi Spa. Excellent. What's the verdict? According to reviews, it truly seems to be a fully functioning business. Uh, not just a front. Couldn't tell from the service entrance. They offer rather popular high-end massages and have an active social media feed. It's a 24-hour business, Bruce. There are customers going in and out at all times. They have no idea what's coming for them. No innocent collateral damage. No, just innocent people, Bruce. I'll have to keep everyone who runs that facility out of harm's way. Initiate the feed of my contacts to Waller. Let her know I'm here. At once. I need to see what we're up against. Good idea. Remember, you're able to toggle the thermal imaging in your lenses. I'm signing off while you speak with Director Waller. Be careful. Thanks, Al. Waller? On the line, Bruce. I'm here. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Caution is key, Bruce. This situation is a spark away from a wildfire. I'll keep that in mind. It's time to do some scanning. That access door is connected to the spa. Can we... Ooh. Someone's having a massage. That appears to just be a patron. So a nice little rub down. There's a handprint on the door. There are still traces of heat signatures. Someone was here recently. Maybe guards. Oh! They're heading downstairs. The real lab must be underground. Oh. Sanctus has been in the middle of Gotham this entire time. They burrow under your skin and eat you from the inside out. This is why I'm willing to let these criminals be the tip of the spear. Dangerous and expendable. My favorite adjectives. That's some top-notch field work, Bruce. I know being undercover has been tough, but you just need to maintain it a little longer. If you don't get inside with those maniacs, we're going to have a pandemic on our hands. Waller, I need to go. Now why would a billionaire be skulking around in a filthy alley? Carefully inspecting every detail. Almost as if performing reconnaissance. I could ask you the same. Oh, I'm not skulking. I have a very deliberate purpose. But Bane, have you been spying on me? Spying? No. I've only been keeping an eye on you. That's the same thing. I heard that GCPD paid you a visit at your office, so I swung by to see if you might be in need of some aid. Innocent as that. Then, something about the look on your face as you left. So, determined. Yes. I had a sense you would lead me to something interesting. Project Lotus. This is the secret you and Harley had. Where are we, Bruce? What is this place? And do your best, to be honest. Lies insult us both. This is it. The Black Sight Riddler wanted to hit. So this is what Harley was trying to keep secret. She didn't know. <laughs> it's 
strange that you're here after a run-in with GCPD in an alleyway with the other rats. Finding you in this duplicitous position while we have a mole problem, well, it does not look good for you, my friend. When you wake up, you can tell Harley that you led me right to her conspiracy. Wake up. Ooh, that is a headbutt, huh? I just told you. Where, where the fight so is. Shy. Why is he so angry? Oh, we are screwed. Early! Hold your horses! Oh, I pity what you're about to face, Wayne. You did the right thing, telling me about the black site. But there's still something about you that gives me pause. Something that casts a shadow over your heart. Harley wanted to spearhead the hunt for the mole. This will be her chance. So, be thoughtful with your words in there. They could be your last. Um, thanks for the warning, I guess. Thanks for the warning. Great. I'll be careful. I hope it's not you, Wayne. But if it is, I'll kill everyone who shows up for your funeral. What is it now, Bane? The rat has been uncovered. Wayne was right under your nose. Attract Wayne to the location of the black site. And if he had I a... sent Wayne to scout it, so lower your damn voice. It was the final piece of the puzzle, and now we got it. Go get your boys ready. We move on the site ASAP. And don't worry your pretty little head about our rat problem. I got it covered. And Bane! Tell Freeze to get one of them popsicle makers ready. You're not going anywhere. You're in here. With me. Thanks for backing me up. Don't mention it. Can't have him stepping on my turf, you know? I said I'd find the rats. And I will. Your father. He was a hard man, right? Someone lied to him. Betrayed him. He ended them. Think he was onto something with that idea? Show no mercy? Take no apologies? You need to keep your people in line. Sometimes that means making hard choices. <laughs> such a pretty way of saying killing a person. And taking you for such a ruthless fella. You are who I think you are, Bruce. Who do you think I am? A man out to prove to the underworld he's just as bad as his dear departed dad. Or there more to the story I should know. Hidden depths? Secrets you don't want me to see. I also enjoy long walks on the beach. Hmm. <laughs> You're funny. Must have gotten that from your mother's side. You know, my dad could be a funny guy, too. <laughs> and they all fell down to the deep to drown. To the dark to drown. He used to sing that to me. My dad. Made me feel safe. Like nothing could hurt me. You have a nice voice. <laughs> Might want to get those ears checked, Brucey. What's left of them. But it's nice to know I have a fan. Been running short of those lately. In fact, you being like my dad, that's why I got such a soft spot for you. Oh, you do? You found me the black site, didn't you? Plus, you're not a bad guy. I mean, you're rotten like the rest of us. But, you actually care for some people. Like that girl John told me about. What's her face? Uh, 
Brittany? No, Tiffany. You remember? Early 20s, fresh-faced and optimistic. How am I doing? Are you threatening her? Oh, take it down a notch, Wayne. Your friend is safe. It's your job to keep her that way. Yeah, friends are great. Except when you have to lose them. Laptop's gone. What are you- Yeah, Shaka, we have a turncoat. I've interviewed just about everyone in the place. Except maybe one. Or two. So gosh, that only leaves the two people I haven't cleared. You and Catwoman. Maybe it was the guy who Bane gave the hamburger face. But weirdest thing, the laptop went missing after that. Wait, you cleared John? Yes, I cleared John. You think that guy's capable of lying to me? I mean, if only he would. That'd show a little spine. But if you really want to, you can ask him yourself. John, get in here! When I told Puddin I narrowed it down to you two, he begged me to let him interrogate you. I gave him some pointers, and now this is his chance. Hi, Bruce. You potential rat. Have at it, John. Harley, uh, uh, do you mind? Can't learn to ride with training wheels on forever, you know? I'll be right outside. Admit it, you rat scum! You're the... the rat... <clears throat> Sorry, I have to make it sound good. Uh, hit me again. Screw it. Do it again. What? Hit me again. Do it. Take this. <clears throat> Ooh. You hitting him already? I'll let it play. <sighs> I never wanted it to come to this. But we both know what has to be done. Catwoman has to take the fall. Think about it, Bruce. Harley's gonna kill that Tiffany girl if it's you. There is no scenario where we are letting that happen. I knew that'd be your knee-jerk reaction, but... This is the only way out. The only way that keeps you alive. Did you even stick up for me? I tried, Bruce. I really did. I said it loud and clear. I internally. But you know, Harley, she's not a mind reader. I'm sorry. I'm not as strong as you. Well, I'll get through this, Bruce, but... I don't see a lot of options that end too great for you. It's either you or her. What do you want to do, Bruce? She knows it was one of you two. She knows. And don't think I don't feel just awful about this. Since, you know, I stole it. Can't help but feel a little bit responsible. All right, time's up. Perfect, because I'm done. You got a confession? Great job, Puddin. Who are we hanging out to dry? Go ahead, Bruce. Tell her what you told me. Come on. Go ahead, Bruce. It's okay. Just like we talked about. It was me, Harley. I took it. You were just starting to get under my skin. Too bad. I guess I do have to hurt Tiffany after all. And you, of course. I knew you had it in you, John. We are gonna do terrible things together. Like, send this one to the great icebox in the sky. Oh, damn it. Can we not just do the job together? Please? Well, Bruce, it's been fun. Bane, get him inside. <clears throat> you 
You can let the cats out of the bag. Bruce! Bruce is in deep trouble. Harley, be reasonable! <laughs> Why would I start now? I can help. You need me! Yeah. Once you're in Ice Cube, I can use you to keep the vodka cold. Wait! Harley, as great as this is as a punishment, not Bruce. You can't. He's... He's, he's my best friend. Aw, Puddin. That's sweet. So... Maybe we can let him go? Live, at least? Nah. Be sure to send Tiffany a postcard from Antarctica. Oh my god, have we screwed up? Is that it? Is it game over? So thank you guys for watching. I recorded this whole episode pretty much in one go. So um, I'll let you guys chill and take that episode in. I made some pretty rash decisions. I'm sure you guys will disagree with some of the decisions I made. In the moment, that's what I went with. Um, yeah, I have no idea what's happened next. He's basically about to freeze. I thought he could perhaps escape at the end there and still do the job or John could help, or Catwoman, but he's about to freeze. I don't know what's going to happen next. I have no idea. Thank you guys for watching, though, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.